All right, so our dough has now doubled. She's big. She is big. I, I know, like she's big. <laughs> Alex. Hi. I have heard that you have a lot of experience and expertise making people's favorite <laughs> fast foods at home. I came to ask you if you could make a treat that I love. Krispy Kremes. When I was in middle school, there was like an explosion of Krispy Kreme. Yeah. And like... I remember that. Right? The Krispy Kreme boom. You know, donuts are donuts and... I have made them before. There's something about a Krispy Kreme though. They're just like perfectly crispy and creamy. <laughs> it's almost the like they knew. Yeah. <laughs> They're almost untouchable, but we're gonna try. Let's touch them. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to touch Let's them. Touch it. <laughs> I do not know if we can do it, but I believe that we can. Krispy Kreme is a yeasted dough, so we're gonna start with yeast. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? That's water. Well, yeah, so this is water. We're gonna start with some warm water and we're gonna sprinkle our instant yeast over the top is that of the, that. Is that the kind of yeast that you get in packets at the grocery store? Yeah, it is, exactly. So yeast is alive. Much like us. It, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it's already starting to change. It's turning into like a teenager. <laughs> we need to get her to a woman. All right, so now that our yeast has foamed up, we're gonna start she adding. She bloomed. She bloomed, yeah, she, she bloomed. bloomed into a woman. We're gonna start adding the rest of our ingredients for the dough. So we have one and a half cups of warm milk. Do you wanna, you can pour yeah, that I in wanna there. pour. I'm always putting the people who come to work, you don't? I like it, it makes me feel accomplished. Good, we have uh, a half a cup of sugar. A half cup of sugar, just dump. Yeah, just dump her in. And this is a teaspoon of salt. Two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. And then a third of a cup of very soft butter. Now we're gonna do two cups of flour right in there. And we're gonna start to mix this donut batter. Or what's, dough. What's the mixing technique? Is so there you can just kind of go for it. We wanna break down the eggs and the butter into the dough. We're gonna mix this dough and it'll be more like a batter at first. And then we're gonna slowly start incorporating the rest of the five cups of flour, and it'll turn more into a dough. We gotta be gentle with her, but, but you firm. know, she's tough. So if you wanna start mixing this together. Yes. Yes. So what we're looking for is to make it more of like a shaggier dough. It'll be just like a little bit easier to handle, so okay. once we get there, we can flip it onto the table and start oh, to knead it. okay. It's like um, safe to touch. Safe to touch, yeah. All right, so this is kind of like our shaggy dough. Okay. It's come together. It's still a little bit loose, but that's okay. So now it's gonna be time to knead. So it's still like pretty loose, but we're just gonna incorporate some more flour as we go. Kneading is such an important step because it's gonna help you get that like light and fluffy, airy donut, which is so classic to a Krispy Kreme. Yeah. You'll literally start to feel the dough change. It'll start to get a little more like elastic and feel a little like tighter as a dough. Toughen her up. <laughs> you can also check if the dough is ready by pressing your finger into it. So we want it to be elastic enough to bounce back. Um, I think we still have a little bit more to go. So it's getting there. It's like pretty elastic, but we have a little bit more to go, I think. All right, so I think we're pretty good. Look, she looks so nice. She does. And I'm just gonna kind of make her into a nice little ball. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. So now I have this greased glass bowl. So I just grease it with some oil. I'm gonna pop our dough right in there. You want it to be greased because it'll allow your dough to rise up the sides of the bowl instead of like stick. We're gonna cover this up with some plastic wrap. Put you her can to also, bed. yeah, we're gonna put her to sleep. Good night, babe. She gets a little blanket and she gets to go in a warm place to about double in size. We'll see you in about two hours. All right, so our dough has now doubled. She's big. She is big. I, I know, like she's it. big. I'm into it. All right, so basically what happened was our yeast fed off of the sugar in the dough and allowed it to rise and double so we know it's all alive. So now for the fun part. Um, Listen, this has all been fun. This has all been pretty fun. So we're just gonna start to punch this down a little bit. You can do that. Oh yeah. So that's, punch that's, her good. Down. that's pretty good. <laughs> Get her ready for the real world once so again. So now we're just gonna take our dough and we're gonna start to roll her out. 
So I'm gonna add a little more flour and even on our rolling pin because we don't want anything to stick. It's pretty like elastic. It's like a good firmness if you wanna start hitting that with a rolling pin. Try to keep it pretty even. We're gonna roll this out to be like on the thinner side. Interesting. Um, because the donuts will puff up again. As you work, the dough is gonna get a little bit tougher to work with, so we wanna get as many donuts as we can. For the even more fun part. It just keeps getting more fun. I know, I love it. Um, we are going to start cutting out the donuts. I'm just using this ring uh, cookie cutter and this, this smaller ring cookie cutter. I'm just gonna dip this in flour just so it doesn't stick to our dough, both of them, and I can do, so one. So we got one. Okay, so you can always like start to kind of put this dough back together and re-roll it out and make more. We're gonna focus on these ones right now. I'm gonna kind of space these out so they're not overlapping. I'm going to cover these up and let them hang out for like 10 minutes. Again, another great stopping point. Another great stopping point. We did a lot point. of hard work, yeah. kneading out the dough, cutting them out. Whew. You can have a glass of wine or maybe coffee. That kind of goes with donuts. All right, so while our donuts are hanging out, we're gonna start on the glaze. What is your favorite type of donut at Krispy Kreme? You cannot beat you a can. classic. I it's agree. a classic for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make just the basic glaze, which is super easy. Just take some powdered sugar. We're gonna mix that with some milk. Mm. We got a fourth of a cup of milk. And I then, thought this was like whiskey at first when I saw it, because <laughs> I've never seen a bottle of vanilla I mean, extract that, that big. That would be the worst <laughs> thing. We're just gonna liven this up with a little bit of vanilla. If you want to stir that up, then it should turn into a glaze. All right, so that's our glaze, and we're about ready to fry. Nice. Our oil is on. I am going to get ready for once we start to fry. So I'm going to pour our glaze onto this baking sheet right on there. A waterfall of glaze. Can pull this off. Okay, so we want our oil to be at about 375. If your oil is too hot, the outside will burn before the inside has a chance to cook. And if it's too low, it'll just be like an oily mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna just carefully pick up one. I don't wanna crowd the pot of oil, so we're just gonna do a few at a time. So just to be safe, gonna drop it in with our little spider here. They're already kind of puffing up. And I'm just gonna use like chopsticks because that, that's actually what they do at donut stores. Once we have a good golden brown color on one side, I'm just gonna give it a little flip, fry it on the other side, and then they'll be done. Let's flip her over, see? Oh, I keep stabbing that one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks wise, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're gonna keep it going until we get that nice golden brown color on the other side. And then we'll pop them onto our baking tray with a rack, almost there on this three. It is still a process, like, to fry three at a time. Yeah. It's taking a little It is taking, taking a, a little bit. bit longer than I thought it was going to. Time to glaze. You I'm glaze excited them for while, this part. You said you glaze so them while you're, they're we hot. We want to glaze them while they're still hot. Okay. So I'm gonna just go for it. Yes, bathe, my beauties, bathe. Oh, yes. Open oh, this a little. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little <laughs> trickier than I anticipated. <laughs> You know what I need? A spatula. We'll still get them all on there. They still look pretty good. The glaze will run off since it's a loose glaze, but that's why we want it to just kind of cover the whole donut and like envelop it. They look great. See, the, the excess glaze kind of runs off mm -hmm. and you can continue to like use, use that. The glaze. Yeah, exactly. We got our donuts. <laughs> High five. I think we did pretty good. I mean, at least like the size and shape is pretty comparable. Yeah, our glaze does not look quite as thick. It doesn't, yeah. This is like thick with the K, this is thick with two Cs. Yeah. As always, we're basing this off of three different criteria. So one is time and effort. How much time do we actually put into making the donuts, which was kind of a considerable amount of time. It's a considerable amount of time, but it's not all spent working. There were two hours where we were just chilling. Yeah. Two is cost. Now, this might be one of the scenarios where it actually is cheaper because so many people have these ingredients in their pantries and their fridges already. Three, of course, is taste. Can we match or beat the taste of a Krispy Kreme donut? There's only one way to find out. There is. So we have to try the Krispy Kreme first, obviously, okay. for the baseline. Okay. So take your pick. I will take this guy. 
Got it. Cheers. Donut cheers. Mm. It's great. The glaze is kind of what makes it a little crispier as yeah. a donut, but then it's still that like melt in your mouth creamy inside. Oh, you're like taking it apart and looking at it. Mm. I'm just shoveling it it's in. It's so good. <laughs> I'm excited for these ones. I'm really excited well, Nice, for warm, these fresh ones. donut. Oh, it's, it's so nice that it's Look warm. how perfect that one. It's like very round. This is Nicely a, shaped. This is a good donut. Let's cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. I feel like the Krispy Kreme might be a touch fluffier, but it's like pretty close. Yeah, feel... this one hits you over the head with sugar. This one is like, a little sophisticated. Yeah. This is how bougie people eat donuts. So you're never gonna beat the convenience of actually just going and getting a box of donuts at Krispy Kreme. But I think we did a great job. Alex, I have to say thank you very much for teaching me how to do this. Of course. Just don't ask me to do this again. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm definitely asking you. <laughs>